Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here. I'm today with a quick review of South Park Season 25, Episode 4. Now, I'm going to give some of the things I liked about this episode, some things I didn't like about this episode, and then wrap it up with a big old bow in the, bow in the end. So, some of the things I liked about this episode, regarding the main plot regarding Butters and the dressage tournament, I honestly just love the use of physical comedy, like melancholy pooping and the melancholy getting a boner, specifically, like, the, fr the freaking whistle sound when it starts popping a boner. For some reason, as sophomore and simple as it was, it just made me burst out laughing like all three or four times they did it. And also the concept of Butter's horse presuming to have sex with whatever horse was in front of it, including both times with the riders on top of top of them and them being like completely traumatized by it. I thought was this really funny. Other things I liked, I honestly liked the references, especially because it was stuff that I knew. Even if, like, it's like the stuff I knew that some other people might not, so it gives me this weird sense of superiority. Like, for example, I knew the whole concept with Mr. Hacky, Mr. Mackey, oh, Hacky, definitely, hacking into uh, the uh, computer systems at Colorado Springs using Fortran in a style similar to that of the Whopper in War Games. I thought was pretty interesting, War Games being the film that helped launch Matthew Broderick's career. I forgot if he did that before or after Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's one or the other but very early in his career when he was still a teenager. Uh, other thing, other references I liked, this music. Like, for example, at the very beginning of the episode, you had Mr. Mackey having that weird dance to Dance Hall Days by Wang Chung. And then later you had Games with Frontiers by Peter Gabriel. And then with Vladimir Putin, along with the uh, montage of the events of the Dressage Tournament, you had uh, Two Tribes by Frankie Goes to Hollywood, who is, which is... An underrated song, by the way, and like I said, that song and specifically Games of Frontiers were both about the concept of nuclear warfare as well, which Mr. Wacky worried about, but it was revealed it wasn't necessarily he was worried about nuclear war, it's that he just got nostalgic for the 1980s, and also liked how they connected that to Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine by comparing it, saying the reason why is that he feels old and because he has a small dick, and you have Vladimir Putin in the end going, da, da, which in Russian translates to, yeah, yeah, which I thought was pretty damn funny. Uh, other things I liked about this episode, you might notice the picture I'm using is from Scott Tinnerman Must Sky. I couldn't find a picture of Butters having sex with the, uh, Butters' horse having sex with the other horse, but this will do because it involves a horse and involves penises, so close enough for me. Other things I liked, I like to know how this is like the second time Butters got celebrated for something absolutely traumatic. Like, you have this one where he wins because the Russian rider fell off with his horse getting raped by uh, Melancholy. And you had the episode way back with uh, the You Got Served episode where Butters accidentally kills the entire team from Orange County. Like, stuff like that. That was pretty funny. <sighs> what else? Also, I noticed the reference to specifically, like, the montage to the Soviet anthem with the Solikovs. Uh, Preparing for the horse racing, horse dancing tournament was supposed to be a reference to Rocky IV, which got solidified in the end with the boxing referee doing the 10 count on Solikov when he fell to the snow, and with Mr. Mackey talking in the, like, doing the, inter talking in the microphone with the American flag draped around him was a reference to that movie. Rocky IV being, if you don't know, that's the Rocky film where he defeats the Soviet fighter Ivan Drago. So overall, I kind of like the use of references. I thought it was pretty funny, especially like, oh, the room's just how you left it. And it was like full of all this 80s memorabilia and stuff. I like that. Things I didn't like about this episode, I would say the fact that it just kind of felt like everything was obvious. Like it was obvious it was going to set up to, oh, this is really just purely about nostalgia. This isn't about actual serious worries about nuclear war. Really, there weren't that many downsides to this episode. That's the only one I can immediately think of. If I had to rate this episode, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.